Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about the chatter command. Chatter command means change attribute. This particular command is useful to change file attribute on Linux file system. This chatter command is a command line uh, Linux utility that is used to set or unset particular attributes to a file in Linux system to secure that file and folder from accidental deletion or modification even if you are logged in as a root user. It provides more security to your files from unwanted changes or deletion of files. Chatter command makes important files immutable means unchangeable. Chatter command is very useful to set attributes for some important file, for example, system files like uh, etc password file, etc shadow file, etc group file, and more files where user information exists. There are many attributes available to do it. For example, if a file is set with the A attribute, then only be opened in an append mode for writing. That is, allow everyone just, just to append data on a file without changing or modifying already entered data. The second attribute, if a file is set with I attribute, it cannot be modified, means no renaming, no deletion, even you can't create soft link or hard link, no execution, you cannot change permission cannot be writable by anyone including the root user but if you want to uh, this uh, unset the attribute you can change it only with the help of root user okay to add attribute on a file we use plus sign to remove attribute we use minus sign and if you use is equal to sign it keep the existing attribute that the file having so let's start how you can use this chatter command here first of all i am creating one file and one directory here i am creating one directory named data and creating one file name file1 save it and to check whether these two directory and data, this particular directory data directory and file is having any attributes available or not then run lsaptr now it shows that it doesn't have any attributes available for file one and file for data all right Let's change, let's give full permission to this file as well. Now the file is having the full permission, even for others as well. All right. Okay. To attribute file, on a file or on a data to secure it from deletion run command like this chatter plus sign immutable then recursively on a data folder okay let's first we do one thing let's create some file under data uh, directory created four files under data directory now to set the immutable attribute and recursively for data now let's check our attributes are there or not for data directory as you can see, the I option is set on this data. And the same will do for file one as well. So 
So we can see that on file one and on data one, this uh, immutable attribute is set. All right. So now let's try to delete, rename, and change permission for file one and data. First, let's try to delete file one. It's giving a permission, operation not permitted. As you can see, right now I have logged in as a root user and for root user, it doesn't allow to delete the file. And if you try to delete the folder, the same thing, permission denied. All right, let's try to change the permissions like 777 for data it doesn't allow you same 66 six, sorry 600 file one doesn't allow let's try to move this uh, data and file to some other location under root directory no operation not permitted same for file as well operation not permitted so you can see after applying this uh, i attribute to file and folder it make it secure from deletion renaming modification even you can't change the permission if you try to rename you can't rena uh, rename as well to unset this attribute you can use command minus sign and i and minus r recursively for data directory and if we check the attribute for data as you can see the immutable attribute is removed from the data directory now you try to remove any file from data directory we can easily remove like like file it's removed now so after removing the attribute this immutable attribute we can easily remove file from the data directory all right uh, the next thing I'm going to show you uh, how you can secure the important files like uh, etc password file or the shadow file if we set the immutable attribute on password or on the shadow it's make them more secure from accidentally remove or tamper it also it will disable user account creation so how we can do this let me show you first of all here you can easily See that uh, under etc password file we have two users created user 1 and user 2 all right so let set an immutable attribute to this file the same way set attribute to shadow file as well All right, so our, we have set the immutable attribute to both the files. Now let's try to add some user here. I'm trying to add user three. It's saying cannot open etc password. So it doesn't allow you to add a user. Let's try to remove user like uh, we have two users created under the password file user 1 and user 2 let's try to remove user 2 oh, the same thing it doesn't allow you to remove as well so in this way you can secure your uh, important files with the help of this uh, immutable attribute the next attribute I'm going to discuss with you is 
the uh, a attribute okay uh, if you only want to allow every user just to append data on a file without changing or modifying already entered data then you can use the a attribute on files or on directory so how you can use this let's see as you can see right now i'm having file 1 and it's having a content this is file 1 so let's uh, put a attribute here so it's having a i attribute already exist on this file let's remove it and put the a attribute Let's add the A attribute. So as we can see, the A attribute is added to this file. So now let's try to uh, let's try to add some contents to this file. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'll do one thing. I run this command file one. This I try to add. I try to add the uh, overwrite this file file one. So it's saying operation not permitted. Now let's try to append this file. And save it. Now let's check file one. Now we can see that uh, this particular attribute allow us just to append on a particular file, not to overwrite. You try to delete it, doesn't allow you. Okay. So in this way, you can use this uh, append attribute. In the same way, you can uh, you can use this uh, append attribute on directory as well. In the same way, like. Recursively on data directory. As you can see, all files the A attribute is automatically been applied. So in this way, you can use this uh, change attribute command, and uh, you can use it on production servers to secure your important files. Okay, guys. Hopefully, you like this video. If you like this video, please like this this one, this video, and uh, and if you like this video, please subscribe my channel for more videos to come. Thanks for watching this one. Have a nice day.